Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. This is episode 300. It has been a very long journey and I want to thank you for watching all of my videos so far. Today I want to talk with you about how you can leverage declarative agents with custom APIs in order to consume, eventually securely with open authorization, external APIs that can be really useful whenever you want to consume, to read data coming from external systems, especially if it is structured data, or whenever you want to update external structured data in an external system. Like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. Let's assume we have an API, which is actually an Azure function that I created. It is an API to get a list of stocks uh, and to get a value of a specific stock and to trade uh, a stock. So this is my Azure function and here I have, if I go and I scroll to the bottom of the uh, source file, I have uh, an operation to get this stock list, I have an operation to get a specific stock and to make a trade. As well as I publish the open API and the open API in YAML format uh, just for the sake of providing uh, open API based documentation for my API. Doesn't really matter how I implemented this API, but basically the get stock list uh, gives me back a list of stock data which I have uh, for the sake of simplicity in a JSON file where I have some fake values here for some of the stocks uh, on the uh, market. And then I can get a specific stock. Uh, by symbol and I can trade a stock so I can get a JSON request with a stock that I want to trade and I will reply back to the user with the information about the traded stock. So if you want to see how it behaves in action we can see here we have in Postman our get stock list we make a request for the get stock we send the request and we get back the list of stocks then we do the get of a specific stock and we can do the trading if we provide in the body that we want to buy Microsoft stock 100 items at this price, we can send this request and get back a response. As well as we can get the YAML of the uh, uh, OpenAPI definition of this uh, REST API just for the sake of using it later on. And let me copy the URL for this one. While doing that, I'm relying on an NROC endpoint, which is doing the reverse proxy for my local environment here in Visual Studio. Now, let's assume that we want to create a declarative agent relying on this API. So, we can go under Teams Toolkit, we can create a new application of type Copilot Agent. It will be a declarative agent with an API plugin. We say that we want to use an open API description and we provide the URL of the endpoint that I just copied before. It will go to this URL and it will be able to understand that we have three uh, operations, the get stock, stock list and trace stock. So we can easily select them and create uh, the declarative agent accordingly. That's really, really easy and simple. Then I need to define a folder where I want to store my agent uh, and my demo agent will be the name of the agent that I'm going to create. So, in a matter of few seconds, we will have an agent configure. Actually, I already did it because I wanted to add additional settings. So, here I have my stock agent, which I created exactly like I showed you uh, before. And here, in the manifest, uh, like usual in a declarative agent, we have uh, the copilot agent section. And we uh, target this file where we have the definition of our declarative agent with specific instructions. The instructions simply say you are a declarative agent supporting users in retrieving list of stocks, uh, retrieving a single stock by symbol and uh, trading a stock, as well as we provide detailed information about these stocks themselves. Okay, so in the declarative agent, we also have a set of conversation starters and we have a set of actions, actually just one, based on this AI plugin.json file. In the AI plugin.json file, here we have the generic description of our API plugin. We have the functions available, so we have the uh, capabilities for the get stock, the capabilities for the get stock list, and for the trend stock. 
if you look at this one, for example, the get stock, we have the information about how we should render the output in case the user will query to get a specific stock. And here we have just the JSON of an adapted card to do the rendering, as like as we do in the get stock list, where we have the JSON to render the output, and in the trade stock, where we can get the output of a trading. Then we have information about the runtime, and then we have the actual open API YAML file where we have the definition of our uh, REST API, including a dynamic variable which will be the open API server URL that we are targeting. So now by moving to the copilot interface in my browser, here we can see that we have, well, let me refresh it. So let me go to uh, the copilot UI and start from scratch. So Microsoft 365 slash copilot. Here we start with the generic uh, uh, and general purpose UI of Microsoft 365 copilot, but you can switch to the stock agent that you can see right here. Here we have the conversation starters and we can make a request for the list of stocks, for example, in our portfolio. So just for the sake of completeness, let me show here that you will get a request in the NGROC UI. So let me query this uh, uh, prompt to my custom agent. The first time I do that, I will need to allow always or just once uh, the uh, copilot agent to consume an external API. Let me do allow once and it will uh, go to the actual API. And as you can see here, we see the get stock list uh, methods or operations invoked. And here we get the output from uh, the target API, which is a, an API to give me a structured set of data. Or we can do, for example, the get Microsoft stock price. And by doing that, again, we will rely on the API. This time we still need to allow once, but we also are providing the Microsoft input argument. So we need to be aware of what we are providing to the target API. Let's allow it once. And again, in the uh, NGROC, we will see the get stock uh, uh, operation invocation. And here we get the output from our API, including the um, adaptive card JSON output uh, to uh, show in a nice way the output. And now if I want to trade the Microsoft stock and buy, for example, 100 uh, items of the Microsoft stock at this price, I can do it again. And again, I will have to allow uh, this uh, agent to invoke the API providing this kind of input. Let's do that. And I will see that with NGROC, I have the trade stock uh, operation invocation. And here again, I get back the answer, including the uh, price that I was able to buy the Microsoft stocks uh, for. And here I have uh, the output, the trade processed successfully. So this is really powerful whenever you want to handle structured data through an external API from within an agent inside Microsoft 365 Copilot. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the last episode about extending Microsoft 365 Copilot with declarative agents, and it was also the final episode of PSC Tech Vive. In fact, I'm gonna close this show and I'm gonna take a break. Maybe in the future there will be something else, but so far, thank you so much for following me and for watching all of these videos. Thank you.